guys, what's up and welcome back to Epic Pig 101. Today I've built this LEGO Seaside Restaurant as an entry for the LEGO Mock Contest set up by Kawi's Creations, which just hit 600 subscribers a little bit ago. Make sure to check out our channel if you haven't heard of it yet, as there's some amazing and inspirational LEGO builds over there. Without further ado, let's begin the video. As I mentioned, this mock is a LEGO restaurant located by the sea on a small cliff a few bricks above the water. Personally, I was inspired by a restaurant that I sometimes go to because it is located by some water and the inside of it looks really cool and modern, so a lot of the interior of this build was heavily inspired by that restaurant. Anyways, let's check this thing out. Starting off, this build is on a 32x32 32 32 base plate and is raised up by 5 bricks, which is a technique I like to use with a lot of my other builds to include depth. Going up to the entrance of the restaurant is a set of stairs which is cut into the rock. I included a Lego Hobbit minifigure about to enter the building. All around the building are various plants, including a small tree, plenty of grass, and a few areas growing flowers. If you look at the build from different angles, you'll see that I've included a lot of different styles for the walls, which was intended to make the restaurant look more interesting. The bottom floor is mostly white, with a line of texture bricks, and one wall is made up of brown log pieces. A lot of windows are included in the walls, including some with flower boxes. The top floor has mostly grey walls, but each side has a different design. The side by the entrance has some vines with flowers and tan windows. The side adjacent to it has a lot of white windows, textured bricks, and red flowers. I'm actually really happy with this design, and I think I'll use it again sometime. The next side only has a few windows with flower boxes, and the final side has rows of dark grey tiles on their sides, which I think adds a lot of character to the build. The roof of the restaurant is a wall of black bricks laid down on its side. I included some windows with glass doors on top with the doors held open by some rods. Overall, I think that the doors add a very realistic touch for the build and also give the roof a little bit more dimension. Underneath the outdoor seating portion of the restaurant, I built in a small rocky wall with dark grey roof pieces. I also used my standard water technique coming up to the cliff by switching from transparent blue to transparent white. For the actual outdoor seating, I used light grey tables and chairs with black grill pieces on them, meant to make them look like those graded tables you see in outdoor restaurants. There are three tables in total, with ten chairs and two umbrellas. Now let's move into the inside of the restaurant. As you walk in through the front door of the building, decorated with two maps hung above it, you make it into a small waiting area with a table and a plant and Batman ready to seat you. Oh yeah, I kinda forgot to mention, everyone in the restaurant is either from Stranger Things, Star Wars, DC Comics, the MCU, Lord of the Rings, or Pirates of the Caribbean. Yeah. Anyways, as you continue into the restaurant, you'll see that one side of it has a pretty cool bar area, with Will Turner serving some drinks. Across from it is a table for five people, but it only has three right now. Behind the table, the floor changes color, and a flight of stairs leads up to the second floor of the restaurant. The second floor includes a lot more seating and a kitchen. Here you'll see a table for two when you make it up the stairs, a small plant, another table for two tucked against the white windows, and a table for three by the front window, where Gandalf sits alone, staring into the horizon, probably thinking about taxes. The kitchen of the restaurant is probably my favorite part. I try to make it look as realistic as possible. When you walk into the kitchen, you're greeted with two ovens where Iron Man is cooking. Across from him is Kylo Ren washing some silverware in the sink. In the corner of the kitchen are two sets of drawers and various plates, pans, and cups scattered around. Finally, in a small area separate from the kitchen is a small freezer for fish and chicken. Anyways, that's all for the mock. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. It was actually pretty interesting to try and make a realistic restaurant out of Lego. As always, leave your feedback for this build in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.